Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and I am here with another Close to My Heart haul. These are also things I already went through the stamps that I purchased over the last few weeks. So these are some of the other bits that I purchased over the last through, through, uh, few weeks. So we've got two new shimmer pens. I believe this one's called Raspberry and this one is called Lagoon. It's uh, kind of this not kind of it is the same as our um inks that are in those colors so i got a couple of those i did a little bit of clearance shopping and i got these um project life not project life nope pocket page cards shame on you becky i think they're called close to my heart calls them picture your life cards so i've got some of those because you know little Riker, he's only a few months old so these might come in handy for him. And I believe these were on clearance. This is a pretty color. I do believe these were on clearance. They are called Picture My Life, The Story Begins Card, Baby Boy. It appears that they are all four by six. Super cute. Great colors. Love, love, love. Oh, that's cute. Yes, so there we have that. These are the Picture My Life cards, the Story Begins cards, Baby Boy. Then I picked up these Picture My Life cards. Um, they are from Something Fierce. These are 4x6 and 3x4. These were definitely on clearance. When the Something Fierce collection was out, I was not a consultant yet and I did not have a consultant at the time because my consultant had quit so I totally missed out on this line which is sad because it's dinosaurs how cute they have a couple things left from this they do not have the papers but they did have these cards so I went ahead and picked up the cards because I just think they're cute 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 so I just flip through those really quick Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Oh, so cute. I wish I would have been around for the paper. I might still be able to go on to the consultant's website and see if anybody has an extra pack. <laughs> I might actually do that because this is so cute. So cute. So this was the Picture My Life cards that were something fierce. Then I picked up some more gold glitter gems and some more of the black and white dots. They're just enamel dots that are black and white because the very basic colors that I like to use. And then I have the silver glitter gems. This right here is a So Much Happy Puffy stickers. Really fun, mostly primary type colors. Love that. Those will really come in handy. I did get two ribbons. I've got this white ribbon and I got the black glitter trim. Oh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait to play with those. I did get some washi tape. This was on clearance as well. It is just a navy blue washi tape from the So Much Happy collection. And I also got some more um, of the gold embellishing thread. And I did pick up another pair of scissors because... You can never have enough little precision tip scissors. See, I got these by Cutter B or EK Success. I got these ones from Martha Stewart. I have another pair of these floating around here somewhere. I don't know where to see because I misplaced my scissors a lot. So, yeah. It's always a good idea for me to pick up an extra pair of scissors if I have a little extra cash. I also picked up the stitched rectangle dies. I picked up the stitched square dies and then I picked up two of these small ones um, stitched ovals the small stitched ovals I picked up two of those because I can you know they're so small I can run them through at the same time I can use the same size at the same time and then I also picked up the stitched brackets now I may or may not go and pick up another pack of these I haven't decided these I can see myself using a lot more frequently than these and I would want to if I'm making a batch of cards I would possibly want to have sentiment stamped 
and then die cut them out at the same time because that's less rolling you have to do, right? Um, I don't know how much they were. They're pretty cheap though. The small ones were pretty cheap. And then these ones were, I would guess in the 20s. Okay, then I got two more markers to round off my collection. I believe these are the last two colors I needed. And I think I have the entire collection of markers now. I keep my markers in this travel bag. This is actually a close to my heart travel bag for ink pads. Um, the ink pads fit in here like this, up, upwards like this, but I just put my markers in there and they do fit. I had them, I had them out using them, so they're kind of um, crooked right now. So yeah, I, there's plenty of room in there for me to put my last two markers in, so. And then it will zip up and I can take my markers with me. This is a close to my heart little travel bag, uh, if you want to check that out very handy. I think I might pick up another one because I'm going to a crop and I'm going to want to take some ink and I'm probably also going to want to take my markers. I don't know. So we'll see. I might pick up another one of those. I've had that for a hot minute though. Then, <clears throat> excuse me, there is something going on here in Georgia. I don't know what it is, but my allergies are like trying to hurt me badly. Then I got some of the stickles I didn't have. In fact, this one right here. Super fabulous. They come in their own little baggies in case there's an accident, you know. This is the cool mint. What? That's so pretty. And then I got the waterfall, which reminds me of Frozen. And then I got this one, which is the Glisten. It kind of looks like champagne to me. Champagne color. So I got those. And then, I love the pins. I've already bought one set of pins, but I bought another set. So this has the gray color. I'm trying to tell you what the tip is. But the, oh, this is a .03. This is a 0.05 in black, and this other black is a 0.01, so you get different sizes. I like the 0.05s, so I'm going to stick those in my little cup right there. Then, I did pick up the white glitter paper. Now, when you buy the glitter papers, they come in threes but when I was working with that last Christmas collection and there was those glittery die cuts don't look like I'm having any fallout so that's good nothing's coming off on my hands um when I they had those white glitter die cuts I, I just totally fell in love with those so yeah I got some in some of the white glitter so I could use that I got some gold glitter too oh it's right here I went ahead and got the gold glitter and the black glitter paper. And each of these have three sheets in them. Super fantastic. I can't wait to use especially the black. I love black glitter. It's awesome. Then I did get another pack of this Celebrate Today. This is the featured collection this month. Um, I just wanted another pack of papers because I, I did get a pack of papers with the stickers. And I wanted to get some more of the papers. Because, I mean... Because this, I mean, how pretty is that? I love it. This is my favorite paper right here, and the back side is just as awesome. What? I know. This is the Celebrate Today. Oh my gosh, that is so super fabulous. And then we have this one, which is some random dotty things, and then some sprinkles. I don't totally 100% love the sprinkles, but I like the dots. This one love both sides this one love both sides yeah they're awesome look at these branding strips too so cool I'm sorry look at these zip strips not branding strips and then I did get another pack of the mix in papers I think I'm going to build a kit with these um, I'm supposed to build a kit this weekend 
I had someone request a building a kit. So I'm going to build a kit this weekend as well, but it's not going to be with these. I'll do it with something different. So I got, I did get these. Now these are, you just get the six papers, I believe. And none of them are duplicated. So that's why I got this. Because I already have one pack of this, but I wanted another pack. I've already used this paper. And I used it for this side. But this one, I think I've used this side. Nice little yellow with a fabulous wonky grid. This is green. These are made to go with both of the featured collections that are in the current catalog. The one, the collection for January, which is spruced up, and then the collection for February, which is Celebrate Today, which is this one. So, like, one side will go better with the Celebrate Today, and this side would go better with the spruced up. But I could probably make them work either or. And then I was almost out of white cardstock, so I got two packs of white daisy cardstock. It is my favorite cardstock. That's not all. Check these out. I did post this video on my YouTube page or I shared it. I got um, Close to My Heart Now has holographic paper. Oh my gosh, guys. The video that they did probably showed it much better than what I will show it. But let me take because they would they took their time and put other pa papers up against it okay so this is like the glitter cardstock where you get three this one is called the oasis it's more kind of greeny tones and bluey tones you can see a little bit of gold and red dancing around in there so fabulous um i saw in a couple lines that are coming out that they have some holographic alphas. Psh. Um, I got an alpha die. <laughs> I don't even think I'm going to buy the thickers. I think I'll just use my alpha die with these. I can't wait to play with this. I saw someone do an example where they used their stays on ink and stamped like, probably wasn't this flower, but they stamped a flower on it and they had cut it out. Could have been a thin cut they, they cut it out with. And they had put it on a card. Oh my gosh, that looks so fabulous. In fact, when we get done here, I might do that. So this one is called Oasis, and it's kind of more grainy and blue and fiery tones. And then we have this one that's called Dreamy, and it is dreamy, super dreamy. Here we got some light blues, pinks, purples. Oh my God, look at that purple. That's so fabulous. Again, there's three, and you can see them together. Um, they're different this one is oasis the darker one toned is oasis and this super unicorny looking one that i like this one like reminds me more of like the sea and beachy type stuff and this one reminds me more of whimsical unicorns and fabulous stuff like that okay so i did get one more thing and i do want to do a comparison on this because let me show you I got, I did try the My Legacy album. Now, I sell close to my heart products. Y'all know that. Go ahead and hit up over on my store if you want to purchase something. I would love it. Um, but I usually get the albums I get. I've never tried a close to my heart album. I usually get the We Are Memory Keepers leather albums. Now, these albums, they're faux leather. They're not real leather. So, it's a, they're about the same price. I get my We Are Memory Keepers albums on off of Amazon and they're about $30. I'll show it to you here in just one sec. I'll show you what I got. But I thought I would try out the close to my heart ones and see, I mean, they feel sturdy. See if I like them. So it feels pretty good. Um, then I got some of these little label holders cause on the We Are Memory Keeper albums, they don't have the spine thing where you can put something in. So I got these right here and they just slip on the top. Unfortunately, we only have these antique silver ones. We don't have like gold or something like that, but I mean, they work pretty good. Let me show you what I usually get. The albums I usually get 
are these ones and these are the we are memory keepers and they are also silver right here but it's already in there it's already on there i do like the look of this up toward the top better than i like that i will say that i do like that um looks like they open about the same the rings look like they're about the same The rings look pretty similar. These actually might be a little bit smaller than these We Are Memory Keeper ones. And the We Are Memory Keeper ones, they're leather. They're not faux leather. What I like about the We Are, see this is not good for, this is not good for my cells, but I'm gonna tell you anyways. What I like about the We Are Memory Keeper ones is they have these corner protectors. Um, I think those are fabulous. They're good and that your corners don't get jacked up. They're bad and that you're gonna put this on your if you're gonna put this on your coffee table. You know, if someone wants to look at it, they're gonna sit it on your coffee table and flip through it. They might be scratching your coffee table. So I mean th these have good <laughs> good things and bad things to them. It depends on how you want to look at it. I hold on. <coughs> Sorry, it's those allergies, I'm telling you. I haven't been scrapbooking that long, so I don't think I've had an album. This one you can see right here, uh, when they put this corner on there, they did flaw. There's a flaw in it. That's kind of annoying. Um, this one, this is the We Are Memory Keepers ones. You can see the stitching all the way around it. This one, there's no stitching. This one is also scratched on it. Probably scratched it with a corner of my We Are Memory Keepers. <laughs> you can see these in the back. Same as this. So yeah, I mean, they're they're pretty comparable. They're about the same price. I do get a discount on this one. The inside is, actually looks, it's paper, but it actually looks pretty nice. This is um, covered with this. And I think these are supposed to be leather, but I actually don't think it is. I'm not sure. It says, I'm looking over here onto my computer screen because I pulled it up. We are Memory Keepers Classic 3 Leather, Classic Leather 3 Ring Album. It says it's leather. It doesn't smell like leather. Um, this one, they don't have anymore. But the one that looks like this is $32.96. And the We Are Memory Keeper ones, or no, the Close to My Heart ones are $31.95. So, I mean, they're they're about the same price. If you just want standard black in this, it looks like you can get them on Amazon for like 24 bucks. So, well, that'll save you a couple dollars. But like I said, I do get a discount because I sell close to my heart products. So, I don't know. I, I like it. There's things I like. I mean, they feel this. The, the material feels pretty much the same. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try this out and see how it goes. I think I'm gonna get one of these for Marissa to put some of Riley's stuff in. All right, guys, um, that is all, <laughs> that's all I bought. This is all I bought from Close to My Heart this month, I think, or not this month. It was for the month of January, I think. Everything I got was in January. I'm just now sharing it with you now, though. So that's all I got. I wanna thank you so much for joining me. My favorite items are probably, well, I, I do like the album but probably these holographic papers. You guys should hop over there and pick you up some. And the black glitter paper. I can't wait to get started with these. I am gonna try that technique where that one woman had done where she stamped it with the black stays on and then cut it out or die cut it. It looked so cool. All right guys, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye guys.